A bogat is a creature in English folklore, either a household spirit or a malevolent genius loci, that is, a geographically defined spirit, inhabiting fields, marshes, or other topographical features. Other names of this group include bug, bugbear, bugaboo, or bugaboo, bogey, bogan, bogeyman, bogle, etc., presumably all derived from, or related to, Old English psal, and related to the Irish puka and the puka or buga of Welsh mythology. He household form causes mischief and things to disappear, milk to sour, and dogs to go lame. The boggets inhabiting marshes or holes in the ground are often attributed more serious evil doing, such as the abduction of children. Always malevolent, the household boggit will follow its family wherever they flee. It is said that the bogat crawls into people's beds at night and puts a clammy hand on their faces. Sometimes he strips the bed sheets off them. For sometimes a bogat will also pull on a person's ears. Hanging a horseshoe on the door of a house and leaving a pile of salt outside your bedroom are said to keep a bogat away. In some areas, such as Northumberland, it was believed that helpful household sprites, silkies or brownies, could turn into malevolent bogats if offended or ill-treated. In northern England, at least, there was the belief that the bogat should never be named, for when the bogat was given a name, it would not be reasoned with nor persuaded, but would become uncontrollable and destructive, see true name. Within the folklore of northwest England, bogats can cause mischief in homes but tend to live outdoors, in marshland holes in the ground, under bridges, and on dangerous sharp bends on roads. The book Lancashire Folklore of 1867, makes a distinction between house boggets and other types. 6. In Lancashire, a skittish or runaway horse was said to have took boggets that is, been frightened by a, usually invisible, bogget. When a person got lost in a marsh and was never seen again, the people were sure that a bogget had caught the poor unfortunate and devoured him. 7. The name of at least one Lancashire bogget was recorded, Nutnan, who flitted with a shrill scream among hazel bushes in Meston near Manchester. 8. In Yorkshire, boggets also inhabit outdoor locations, one is said to haunt Cave Ha, a limestone cavern at Giggleswick near Settle. 9. The Scots variant is the bogle, or boggle, dot the recorded folklore of boggets is remarkably varied as to their appearance and size. Many are described as relatively human-like in form, though usually uncouth, very ugly, and often with bestial attributes. T. Sternberg's 1851 book Dialect and Folklore of Northamptonshire describes a certain bogget as a squat hairy man, strong as a six-year-old horse, and with arms almost as long as tackle poles. Other accounts describe boggets as having more completely beast-like forms. The bogget of Longarhead from Yorkshire was said to be a fearsome creature the size of a calf, with long shaggy hair and eyes like saucers. It trailed a long chain after itself, which made a noise like the baying of hounds. 11. The bogget of Hackensall Hall in Lancashire had the appearance of a huge horse. 12. At least one Lancashire bogget was said to sometimes take the forms of various animals, or indeed more fearful creatures. 13. The Boggets of Lancashire were said to have a leader, or master, called out Hob, who had the form of a satyr or archetypical devil, horns, cloven hooves, and a tail. A piece of folklore concerning a Lancashire Boggett was published in 1861, the author had a conversation with an elderly couple one evening about their local Boggett. They maintained that the Boggett was buried at a nearby bend in the road under an ash tree, along with a cockerel with a stake driven through it. Despite being buried, the bogget was still able to create trouble. A farmer's wife, the old couple claimed, just two weeks earlier had heard doors banging in her farmhouse at night, then loud laughter, she looked out to see three candles casting blue light and a creature with red burning eyes leaping about. The following morning many marks of cloven hooves were seen outside the house. The couple claimed that the bogget had unhitched their own horse and overturned their cart on occasion. Never name it the bogget, the old man repeated, and stated that he would never dig near its grave. In one old tale, said to originate from the village of Mumby in the Lincolnshire countryside, the bogget is described as being rather squat, hairy, and smelly. In the story, a farmer offers a deal to a bogget inhabiting his land, 
the Bhagat may choose either the part of the crop that grows above the ground or the part below it. When the Bhagat chooses the part below the ground, the farmer plants barley, at harvest time, the Bhagat is left with only stubble. The Bhagat then demands the part above ground instead, so the farmer plants potatoes. Once again left with nothing to show for his efforts, the enraged Bhagat leaves the area. 16. An alternative telling includes a third episode where the farmer and the Bhagat are to harvest the crop, wheat, from either side of the field, each getting what he harvests. However the farmer plants iron rods in the Bhagat's half before the reaping, blunting his scythe, and allowing the farmer to harvest almost the entire field. 17. This story is identical to the European fable The Farmer and the Devil, cited in many 17th century French works. See Bone Continuation, Nina M. Furry E. T. Hanalor Jarosh, a variety of geographic locations and architectural landmarks have been named for the Bogot. There is a large municipal park called Bogot Hole Clough, which is bordered by Meston and Blackley in Manchester, England. Clough is a northern dialect word for a steep-sided, wooded valley, a large part of Bogot Hole Clough is made up of these valleys and is said to be inhabited by Bogots. 18 The Clough is the setting for many Bogot stories, including one of how a local farmer, George Cheatham, and his family were forced to leave their home due to the torment inflicted by a Bogot. However, as they were taking their possessions away in a cart, the voice of the Bogot was heard issuing from a milk churn on the cart. Unable to escape the Bogot, they returned to their farm. 19. There is a Bogot stones overlooking the place where the Moors murderers, Ian Brady and Myra Hindley, buried the bodies of Leslie Ann Downey and Pauline Reed, children they had abducted. The children's bodies were buried just below the location, and in sight of, Bogot stones, OS Map 1864. Dot Bogots feature prominently in a number of popular fantasy novels, in various incarnations. These include the Boggles in C.S. Lewis' The Chronicles of Narnia, the Bogot in Susan Cooper's The Bogot and the Bogot and the Monster, the Bogot in the Septimus Heap series, the Bogots in Joseph Delaney's The Wardstone Chronicles, and the Bogot in William Main's Earth Fasts, and Tasha Tudor's Corgi-related picture books. Other books, including the Spiderwick Chronicles, and Mark Del Franco's Convergent World books feature brownies which turn into boggots when angered. In the CITV children's show The Treacle People, boggots are furry, gremlin like creatures that originate from the treacle mines. They are mischievous, frequently play fighting and causing a mess. They serve as pets, friends, and pests to the townspeople. They have the ability to walk up walls and other inclined surfaces due to their feet, which resemble plungers. A Bogot appears in Peter S. Beagle's novel Tamsin. He is described as a humanoid creature about a meter high who resents humans moving into his house and torments them with pranks and thievery. At first it seems he can become invisible, though it is later determined that he can hide in narrow cracks, between cupboards, under bathtubs, etc. As are many magical creatures in the book, the Bogot is mortally afraid of cats. In the magic, the Gathering Card Games Lore Wine Block, the native goblins of the plane are called Bogots. In role-playing games, the Bogot appeared as the immature form of a will-o'-wisp with shape-shifting abilities in Dungeons and Dragons as well as Necromancer games. Cayman Rider Wizard features a villain of the week based on the Bogot.